a layer mask is going to let us make some changes to a, a layer without really actually making the changes totally permanent or destructive. So we're going to be able to change the layer and then if we later on decide that that wasn't something we really wanted to do, we can change it back. So we want to do this if we're unsure about whether we really want to make a change. So let me show you what I mean. If we uh, import an image, and you could of course do this on your own images, but I'm just going to use one that's kind of done so we can see really fast. This is a painting by Modigliani and kind of famous for his long necked people or stretched out people anyways. It's pretty good use of color, I think too. Anyways, and uh, so I'm gonna rasterize this first. And once that's done, we can uh, go over this and we can either use this button down here that says uh, create layer mask or we can right click and create it. But um, I'm just gonna use the button. And you may have to double click it. Okay. And when you do that, this white, little white square appears that's kind of the same size as our canvas. And you want to make sure you're, there's a difference between which one you're on. And if you're on this white, then it's going to be masking. If it's not, you're going to be affecting the original one. So make sure you are on the mask when you think you are on the mask. And right now, by default, it's enabled, which means that when we work on this mask, it's going to actually make that change. So it works a little different from if you use a mask in Photoshop, it tends to use a uh, black and white, but in uh, this program, it tends to use the eraser and then any other uh, tool. Those are the two kind of contrasts. And when you actually are using the pen, it doesn't really matter uh, what color you're on. I'll, I'll show you in a minute, but let's show you, I'll show you first with the eraser and I'm going to have my anti-aliasing on high and show you just that when I erase, It looks like it's erasing like it normally would, but actually it's not permanently deleting it. It's still there. And you can see over here in the little thumbnail, there's like the black area and that's what we're putting down. We're putting down this kind of uh, blocking mask that is keeping us from seeing that the actual layer underneath, but the layer is still there. I can see it in the little miniature picture. And if I turn the layer mask off, if I unclick Enable Mask, it's going to reveal it in its totality again, and then I can turn it back on too. So uh, there we go. And if I want to bring some of this back, instead of just doing that, if I want to actually bring it back partial, partially, I could use any, pretty much any tool. So if I grab a pen, and again, I, this is where I say color doesn't matter because if I, if I, even if it's black. I'm going to get the exact same result as whether it's white or black. And I can use other tools. I could use the spray, for example, and slowly reveal whatever it is I'm erasing. And again, the eraser is what's going to remove and the other tools are what's going to bring things back. So you see, similar to layer clipping. So that is a layer mask. If I remove this mask, delete mask. So you can also do this. We can select part of the picture and I'm going to use the lasso marquee. And I'm just going to kind of try and wrap it around her a little more. And this will just help us in our process a little faster. And then now at this point, right click and go to layer mask. And I don't want her to be lost. So I'm just going to do mask outside selection. And it's gonna kind of get me started and have this part already done. And then from here, I could, you know, go in and do some finer editing or use a selection tool and kind of uh, get closer to her head if I was trying to isolate that. But at the same time, she would the whole painting would still be preserved in the process. So layer masks definitely helpful and use them and explore them as you paint or draw.